Hi, and welcome to Onyx and Milk. My name is Jordine, and today I'm going to go over the tools uh, the, and a few of the other things that I like to use when I'm planning. So we're going to start off with one of my favorite things, and it's from Muji. It's their 5x4 um, notebook. I usually use it as a commonplace notebook where I store quotes, things I want to remember, and things that I usually transfer over into my planner. Um, so I just start off with writing my name. Uh, another one of my favorites are these sticky notes. I think I got them from Muji, but I can't remember. They are 2.9 by 2.9 and they are transparent. It comes uh, 50 pages in the notebook. So I just like to write little sayings and stick it about. Um, don't buy a lifestyle. Design one. It's one of my favorite sayings. So I was just showing you how the sticky note looks. So I'm going to open it and place it in my common place. The pages on this Muji notebook are nice and smooth um, and they hold up really well. I've had them for about four years now. So I'm just going to start the new one with today's date, which is 2-18-2024. And I'm going to start the year off with a quote that I found by Dr. Monroe, by Dr. Miles Monroe. Uh, you, need to, you need to manage two constants in life. And the two constants are time and change if you want to be successful. So my aim today and for the rest of the year is to manage how I feel and deal with things when things change and manage my time. It's important to manage my time. I have in the past let it flow and get away from me. And then by the end of the year, I'm like, what did I accomplish? So I decided this year I'm going to do something different. So usually in my planner, I'll just write little stuff like ideas for what I want a blog post to be. Like this one says, make a short video on your favorite tools you like to use when you're planning. So my notebook from Muji is one of my favorites. The sticky notes is another. And the pen that I'm writing with. The pen is a Zebra F. 402 and it's 0.7 millimeters. It's a click pen and it's a great pen to write with. Um, the rubber piece at the bottom is nice and smooth and it fits nice in your hand and has a good weight to it when you're writing with it. We're going to move over to the planner that I designed and this is really the point of the video. So I made a 2024 20, planner. I use eucalyptus leaves because eucalyptus is a great plant. Um, this planner is for me, meaning 2024 is for me. I designed it. Um, 2024 is yours and I have my logo and my website at the bottom. This planner was six by nine inches and it's big enough yet small enough to fit in your purse. I put the date there, 2024. Um, there is a calendar for your reference, your most important holidays for the year. And then I explain the wheel of life. The wheel of life is very important. Um, the wheel of life is used to measure different areas of your life. Like I have spirituality, love and relationship. So then I plot them on the wheel. And then you can see the circle is not really perfect because life is not perfect. Um, my word of the year is audacity and to be audacious and to possess unyielding faith in my capacity to make greater positive difference in my life. Um, then I have my mission statement below. You can put whatever you want there. On the second page, I gave a double spread page so that you can put your vision board. Um, I left white spaces so I can fill in other stuff. So I have family, my spirituality, I definitely want a new house. I'd like to go to Japan. I want a creative studio. I definitely want to drive a new Range Rover, uh, cook better meals, elevate my style, improve my health and my wealth, 
And I definitely want to write a book and return to the happiest island, which is Aruba. I love that place. So there's extra space so you can fill it out as much as you want. Then we move on to a highlight for the year. I didn't really do much in, the, in January. And then there's February. And March, I want to do something with my business important. I have a Q1 goal highlight. Um, so for January, February, and March, there's enough space to write anything. And anything you want, you can use it as a bullet journal because not everybody wants to design a journal. Um, then we move on to January. I have the calendar listed and thoughts and musings. It's basically a brain dump. So you can write whatever you're thinking. Then we move over to February. I have the layout again. I had to mail something, a birthday. I My son went on a trip. We'll cut bear. It's my dog. And then I have to do and notes. It's really faint and you can't see it. And I left it that way so that you can manipulate it with something different if you choose. Um, then you have your monthly goals. I only give about three goals, three to four goals a month because you shouldn't work on more than that. Um, and I needed to drink a little more water. So in that place before, it has the monthly overview and the monthly look ahead. Every quarter, you're going to get a wheel of life so that you can plot how things are going in your life. And that will determine the goals that you choose to have for the upcoming quarter. If you know family is not doing well, then you know you have to increase the time you spend with your family. And then at the end of the planner, it's notes. I'm going to use it for a journal so that I can track things that change in my life and go over it so that I can make better decisions. Um, almost half of the planner uh, lined pages so you can use it as a journal. Then we get to the last page and on the last page there's a B and the B represents for me God. And at the bottom is a quote, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but believe. And this is not the end. It is the beginning on the last page. And on these two blank pages, I think you should put your highlights of all your great achievements. On the final page, I put a envelope sleeve or an invitation sleeve. And I use it to hold different things. What you saw in there was my stickers that I'm thinking about doing. I'm probably going to do a little more of them. If not, if you can't find an envelope, uh, invitation sleeve, you can use an envelope. I suggest you can cut off the top, but I think it will be better if you leave the top on and just glue down that part. And then leave the flap on. So if you want to put something in there, you say a sticky notes, a receipt, or just something that you picked up you can always leave it in the back as storage it's like a place to store stuff so this is my planner you know you can go through it I also the pages are thick enough that if you use a highlighter they're not going to come out on the back end which is great I think Amazon's quality of paper is really awesome so thank you for watching my video on my planner and have a great day.